Number 11, write a brief description or a definition of each of the following. And then we just have to do it for a nucleon. All right, so basically the question is, what is a nucleon? Well, inside the word nucleon, you might see another kind of half word, right? In nucleon, I do see this nucle, right? And in chemistry, when we're talking about atoms, there's always a nucle word, right? Do you know which word I'm talking about? Oh! <laughs> Oopsie, something fell down. But let's continue, shall we? My life will be crashing down around me, but I gotta do this video. So anyway, where were we? Ah, yes, the nuclei, right? Ah, did you say it kind of goes with nucleus? You are absolutely correct, right? So a nucleon is is basically, you know, what it what a nucleon is is it's going to be some type of particle. So a particle that you know, exists or lives, right? A particle that exists or lives inside of the, yeah, you guessed it, the nucleus. So now we got to think of all the particles that just exist inside the nucleus, right? And for chemistry, right, uh, we just have to think of two of them, right? What are the two particles that, you know, exist and live inside of the nucleus? Well, here's my nucleus, right? We got a big old circle, and let's make that even more beautiful. Uh, whatever. <laughs> and you got two of them, right? You got, we'll do these like, you know, whatever. Blue circles, and then we got the green circles. The blue ones, and maybe we'll just spruce them up a little bit, right? The blue ones, those are protons. So protons exist inside of the nucleus, and protons always have a positive charge. So plus one, plus one, plus one all around. And then the green ones, right? What's the other, what's the other particle that exists inside of the nucleus? Yeah, the neutron. So those are your two specific nucleons. So General is that they're just particles, but the two particles that you can say that's inside the nucleus is a proton and a neutron. Proton and neutron. And remember that a neutron has a zero charge, no charge for neutrons. So I'm just putting a big fat zero with the slash. That's how I differentiate zeros and O's, right? So... Yeah, so just know that, you know, this whole circle is the nucleus. The nucleus always is going to be positive, but as far as what a nucleon, in, a nucleon is, it's those particles that just exist or live inside of a nucleus. Um, and if we want it to be even more specific, we will say that it's living inside uh, the nucleus of an atom. And then there you go. And that's it. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Uh, we also have memberships on the channel. Um, we just started them up for the new school semester or the school year. So if you want to help us out even more, you can. No obligation, obviously, but any little bit helps us out, which in turn helps the channel, helps you guys out as well. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.